Hi, me again. And we're just going to have a quick look at a, um, a VBA solution to getting data from um, concatenated combinations of file names, uh, sheet numbers, and cell references. So what we've got is this is the concatenated path. And we do need these three separate things. We need the path, we need the sheet name, and we need the cell. So that should just say sheet name. <coughs> and what we've got here is if I do the Alt F11, I'll bring up the code that's running this. And essentially, this is what it's called so data from closed files. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get into cell E1. Now, it's not actually that button, it's the cell underneath that button. Um, that's where I'm going to start. So you need to make sure that's the start of your linked data, where you want the linked data to appear. Now, that's going to remain our active cell in this workbook. What we're then doing is we're selecting all of the rows from that active cell in the current region. So that should select everything along here. And we're then going to count the number of rows and subtract one for the header row. That will give us the number of iterations we need to repeat this. We're then going to do a loop. So for x equals one to total rows, which is what that equals up there, total rows. And then we're going to set three variables. So we're going to set my path, we're going to set my sheet, and we're going to set my cell. And it's taking it from offsetting down one, which at the moment is the value of x, which is one, and then one, two, three to the left, which gives us the minus three. Next one is going to be minus two, next one's minus one. So that gives us those three values there. What we're then going to do straight away is we're going to use this code here, workbooks open, and the file name is my path, which is that value there that we get from this first cell here. We're then going to go to the sheets, my sheet, which is what we got from the cell here, and activate that sheet. And we're then going to go to the range, my cell, which is this one, and get the value. And we're going to add that into a variable here called my got value. We're then immediately going to close this workbook, which is the active workbook. And the only reason we're doing this is because we may have different paths going down. It will make it considerably slower opening and closing each time, but if these di have different paths, it's much safer than trying to sort them and run it with multiple loops inside there, with some running and some not. So we're going to close it each time. It does take a few seconds longer, but you know what? You can go away and make a coffee. Um, with those open, with that value there, we're going to close this workbook. And then we're going to make sure we switch back into production data. And you notice it's XLSM, M for macro, which is this one here that we have open. So production data XLSM. Um, you will need to have it saved as XLSM if you've got this code saved on the floor, or on the sheet. Otherwise, once you've written this code and you save as XLSX, you're just going to basically delete all that code. Now we're going to go to the active cell, which remember is E1. And the offset is going to be the value of x, which in this instance is 1, and no cells to the left or right. And what we're going to do is in that cell's value, we're going to make it equal my got value. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to step through this code so you can see it actually working as I go through it. So F8 <coughs> and range E1 is going to select and you notice how E1 is now selected as the cell underneath that button. Now X equals 1 to total rows and you'll see when I hover over there it tells me the total rows are 5 and the reason it's done that is because it's gone and selected this whole range right down to 6 and I said it was the count minus 1 so it's given me 5. Okay so now my path at the moment is empty my path is going to be offset X minus 3, so offset 1 down, because that's what x is, minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, so it's going to give me that path. And if I hover over here, my path now equals exactly that path from there. This one, my sheet, the moment is empty, it's now going to give me sheet 1. My cell, at the moment is empty, and now gives me a1. Now what we're going to do is open the file name, my path, 
there it is open and it's going to activate my sheet it's now going to get the value my got value is going to be the value from that particular sheet in that particular cell and we'll see in the background it's Joe so my got value now becomes Joe now as I say immediately we're going to close this workbook and we're going to make sure we've activated back our production data workbook just in case there are any other workbooks open and in that cell there which is the offset of the value of x which is 1 and nothing left or right so x comma 0 and the value of that is going to become my got value which is Joe and there we go so if I now just run that for the rest of the loop and what it's done is it's gone and got all the other values for the various cells on the different sheets even on a completely separate workbook so what I have here is I have my production data and there I've got other data and there I've got some other data and basically this was actually looking at each of those where required okay um, I hope that kind of answers somebody's question and once more thank you for listening <laughs>